Well, Joe, first of all, I want to thank you for doing this for us. I mean, the Jeffrey Dean Foundation has just been terrific for supporting exactly the kind of work that we need to do here at Memorial Sloan Kettering, which is cure cancer. You know, we can't do it without creativity, without the best minds in the laboratory generating things that are going to help people. And so what the Jeffrey Dean Foundation is all about is, is supporting really great scientists doing really great scientific work, and the established scientists and younger scientists, scientists in between, but also make it relevant to actually helping people with cancer. So a lot of the projects that, that the Jeffrey Bean Foundation supports connects doctors taking care of patients and the scientists doing discovery. And so your help is really fantastic. Well, that seems to be the, uh, th one of the themes that's, uh, that's running through um, a lot of the things we talk about that, that, I've, that I've talked to some of the, the doctors about is, uh, They'll uh, spend time in the hospital with the patients, and then come here, and and there's so much direct feedback. Um, there's a there's an image that it, at least I had of um, the research going on, and you read about uh, the, the different things, the different breakthroughs or whatever in the paper, and then of course there's the the, the practical side of it. If you're, you're hearing about the you know unfortunately relatives, friends, people people coming mm -hmm. down with it, then there's the whole that there's the, that side of it, and uh, but to see it working like that um, is, I think, is so important, and uh, and that's what the uh, Jeffrey Bean Foundation seems to be unique. Uh, I mean, I don't know that that much about yeah. it, but what I'm seeing is uh, is a lot of uh, a lot of things that are um, there are parallels in, in the kind of. Uh, way we look at the, at, at the world. Well, I think you said it to me best. We were talking earlier about the difference between playing music for a tape recorder or playing music for an audience. And, you know, you play music for a tape recorder, you know, um, you know, it's all about you, it's all about the music, but it's an entirely different thing when you actually know that you're affecting people's emotions. And when you know that you're connecting to people out in the audience, you know, you get new ideas, you get new creativity, you get new energy, it, it gives you the strength. So, so you think about scientists working in a laboratory where they're just focusing on their scientific question. That's an entirely different thing than knowing that what they're doing in the laboratory is going to save lives. It's going to affect human lives. And, and that same kind of energy you, you get from knowing what you're doing with your science is, is, I think, the kind of energy you get when you're playing music in front of, in front of a live audience. It's a totally different experience. Well, let's just say that um, from what I said, um, what you guys do is so much more important because I mean we're talking about about people's lives, um, and um, I guess I kind of can justify the, uh, the the work I do is is trying to trying to bring something to the to the world by entertaining people and taking them away from some of their problems and and that kind of thing. So um, and then also by by be by the celebrity that I, that I've earned over the years. Um, being able to, to kind of spread it out and, and help with with projects like this, but again, uh, the work that, that you do is is uh, not only fascinating but but so important, and uh, and I'm really intrigued, just as a as just coming in off the street to see w yeah. what goes on here. Well, you actually know a lot. I know you have some background in science too, so you know you're bringing that to the that to the, the discussion as well, but. I think art is what we live for. I mean, what medicine, what science can do is to help people be biologically alive, be biologically uh, happy, but to actually be fulfilled, art is very important. And I'm, I'm a big fan of music and, uh, and of art and, and of dance and of all the, all the art forms because I think that's really wh what we live for. So I think we're, we're working about the same issue, which is really fulfilling lives. Okay, you can do it from the biological sense, and that's what we're doing. But the artists are doing it and in, in, in enriching lives in a very meaningful way. So I think we're in the same business, and, and the business is all yeah. about connecting to people. I mean, that's the that's that's the important part of what we do. Yes, the science is critical for that, but it's connecting to people and connecting to their problems. In this case, health problems that really makes it special, and that's what Jeffrey Bean uh, allows us to do. It was, it was founded to connect the best scientists with the best doctors, and to do research projects that not only are interesting in and of themselves scientifically, but actually help people. And so that's what it's all about. Well, a couple of things um, that, that that impressed me the most. Uh, one is the way that that, um, that Jeffrey Bean operates. It seems like they they think out of the box, which is in, on on, and what I do is a, is very important because you can't sit still doing the same thing. You have to 
you have to look for new places for, for ideas and uh, sometimes going back and trying some of the old ones and, and uh, um, uh, generally speaking, maybe picking up a different instrument to, to try and uh, achieve a certain um, success. And what I see with Jeffrey Bean is the same thing. Uh, people come in with an idea and rather than, than wait for, for months of, of uh, paperwork or, or whatever the, the protocol is, there's a, there are people that, that sit and say, sounds like a good idea, and they go with their gut, and yeah. that's so important. Uh, totally, totally on the button, because, because to get the, the kinds of grants that you write applications for to the, to the government, to other sources, you need preliminary data. You need to show that your idea has some validity. And so what the Jeffrey Bean Foundation can do is it can take uh, very young investigators, um, or take middle-level investigators, and even senior investigators, and say, what are, you, what are your best ideas? Give it a shot. In other words, do the, do, the, do the experiments necessary to see if it has validity, if it really works out. And then on the base of that, then you can go for other sources of uh, funding. And I think the Jeffrey Bean Foundation has been a fantastic source of seed money here at Memorial Sloan Kettering to lead pa people, scientists, into doing projects that have brought in many, many other sources of funds. So it's, 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 the, initial, it's the initial impetus of creativity that really makes it work. Well, it, it, it shows you don't have mm -hmm. to be a, a politician um, half the time to, uh, to uh, uh, practice your art. <laughs> you know, instead of spending all yeah. the time, you know, getting uh, getting elected yeah. and uh, you know, and, and winning winning yeah. this grant and winning that grant and wondering if you're going to be able to get next, ne yeah. you know, it seems like like there's uh, um, with with w what you have here, um, people can focus on what they really need to do. That's really and really and important. Uh, really important. And uh, that's a that's a, a unique thing, and, and I think that. Maybe by us doing this, it will uh, turn more people onto it, and and yeah. um, more people will uh, see the benefit. Well, of I it. sure hope so. I mean, one of the really exciting things that happens is when uh, you do a piece of science that really is important and really can change people's lives, can save lives, and you meet people that say, you know, I made a contribution to this foundation, and and uh, you know, and I can say, well, it's because of your contribution to the Jeffrey B Foundation, we were able to do that work that led the next step. So people can feel very personally invested in actually changing the future and not just saying cancer is something that I'm afraid of and cancer is something I hope I don't get or I've known people who had cancer, but actually being involved personally in the battle by supporting organizations like the Jeffrey Bean Foundation that could actually make a difference. That's very exciting for the individual as well and it's very exciting for us to be able to offer that. Well, that's, the, that's with, with um, a lot of the way, uh, at least I look at, at charity, I, I, would, I would rather Buy some cases of food and bring it down to the uh, to the um, to the shelter, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. or or mm -hmm. in a bigger bigger way when the band does um, fundraisers and we we make we give the, the the money directly to the organization we know it goes to right. to the people that need it and that's that's a, a very important part it's it's gratifying but it's but the most important thing is is you see the work mm -hmm. being done you know when I hear hear statistics where um, certain, uh, some of the, the, the huge um, uh, charity organizations that you hear 17, 18 percent actually goes to research, you go, well, that's, that's, uh, that's one organization that's kind of gotten out of control, and we've got to steer away from that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that we have this wonderful funding that we can move things forward. I mean, we're, we're learning amazing things. I mean, we're learning about the the real abnormalities in the cancer cell that makes it behave abnormal. I mean, not just it's a bad cell, but what are the molecules that are abnormal in the cell that makes it abnormal? We're able to, to actually study this in a meaningful way. And I think for the first time ever, we, we have very strong indications that we really can harness the power of the immune system to attack cancer. We've been dreaming about this, you know, because we know the immune system can fight off bacteria and viruses and other kinds of illnesses. Well, why can't it fight off cancer? And we're learning now the reasons why, and we're able to turn off those blocks and, and, and unleash the power of the immune system for cancer. So we're doing actually clinical trials now using that idea and actually in people using their own immune systems to attack the cancer based on research that we're able to do because of the Jeffrey Bean Foundation. And, and, and to see really good science move forward and to see really good science actually influence the design of a clinical trial and to see patients benefiting from that science is one of the great thrills 
and, and that's why this work is so critically important. Um, I have a question uh, that um, I'm curious about. Um, and I don't know if you can answer it because I'm, I don't know how, what kind of records were kept, uh, say, 100 years ago, 200 mm -hmm. years ago, 300 years ago, yeah. as far as like the incidence of cancer. Oh. Um, and, you know, if, if we're on, uh, because it seems to me that even in the last, you know, th that I can remember, it, it seems to be more and more of a factor. When I, when I was, a, when I was very young, it, it used to be um, old age or a heart attack. Yeah. And now it seems to be cancer. Yeah. And I'm just curious if you have any, any well, we numbers we've on known that. Yeah, we know, well, it depends on the kind of cancer. Some cancers, some cancers uh, are increasing, some are decreasing. It used to be used a very common cancer that used to happen to people was cancer of the stomach, and that's because they didn't have refrigeration, and so they had to use methods of preserving food that actually right. made the food cancerous. Right. And uh, as as refrigeration came in, that made that made a huge difference. Um, uh, uh, but some cancers are becoming more common. Some for reasons that we don't really understand, uh, like breast cancer, for example, we don't understand. Others for reasons that we understand a, a little bit better. There are some cancers that are caused by viruses, like liver cancer. In parts of the world where they have infection with hepatitis B, which is a which is a known virus, they have a higher incidence. So, so you got to track it across the board. But another factor is we're living longer, thank goodness, because we're making strides right. against infections like right. pneumonia. We're making strides against heart disease, and so people are living longer and they're at risk for getting cancer. Um, uh, I, I, I met a man not too long ago who said, you know, you, you're doing cancer research, but if everybody lived like me, you know, you wouldn't have a problem because, you know, I, I run 14 miles a day, you know, and I never smoked, and I'm all careful about sun exposure, and I eat lots of fruits and vegetables, and so, so you know, I, I don't really have to worry about it. You know, you people doing cancer research, just get everybody to live like me. And I said, unfortunately, you've given a lot of good reasons why you've increased your chances of dying of cancer. <laughs> and he in, was in shock. Yeah. And, and, and I said, because you've lowered your chance of dying of a heart attack or a stroke, <laughs> and you're going to live longer. And if you live longer, something's going to get you, and you've increased the chance that cancer is going to be it, so you better support the research that we have to do to really make an answer in terms of cancer uh, prevention. That's a great answer. Yeah. That's so great. Yeah, no, research is the <laughs> answer. I mean, we have to do a lot of things, you know, like not smoking, you have to eat right, and you have to not, not be overweight, and you have to do a lot of things, but, but th and that's going to help a lot it's not going to take us the whole way. The only thing that's going to take us the whole way is to really understanding what makes the cancer tick, how the, how the body can fight off cancer, and sometimes how the body actually supports the growth of cancer, which is something else that we've learned very recently, and how to manipulate these factors in such a way that we don't have to worry about it. Remember, the, the ultimate goal is not cancer cure. The ultimate goal is cancer prevention. And really understanding cancer, really understanding it, really where it, where it lives, that's going to enable us to do that. Now, research is critically important. We should do all those other lifestyle things, but you've got to do the research, and the Jeffrey Bean Foundation is what's allowing us to do that. Well, definitely, and I think that the other thing is uh, that can be applauded is that, uh, again, being able to go around a lot of the a lot of the uh, the corners uh, and taking shortcuts, the Jeffrey Bean Foundation um, is able to to um, make progress that that just uh, if if I mean. The way that, that big business is and the, the big chemical companies, I think that they they make so much money off the way things are. I mean, it's still in a lot of ways the standard way things are done. It's like you find out you get cancer, you get the biopsy, you uh, then you have your choice. You want uh, radiation now or with the chemo, or or uh, do you want the that later after the chemo or with it? It almost seems like if you go down the middle of the road, that's still the basic thing. Whereas on, on the fringes, there are all these great ideas. I mean, uh, trying homeopathic things along with certain uh, modern modern things. But, but yeah. it, it seems like so many things are uh, dictated by, by the big uh, chemical companies it, yeah. that it holds it back. And, and you guys seem to um, kind of go around that. Cause well, sci the science is the answer, and whatever great idea you have, all right, I mean, even alternative medicine ideas, whatever ideas you have, they still could be subject to studying it scientifically. And, and you know, a good scientist doesn't have a closed mind to anything. A good scientist will, will look at the evidence objectively and be able to design good experiments to see whether things work or not. One of the best drugs that I have to treat breast cancer, for example, is called paclitaxel, and it's from a tree. It's from the bark of a tree. 
and uh, it's chemically modified. We've learned a lot about it and we do it, but it's a natural product created from a tree and it kills cancer cells and it really works well. So that, so that you know, we, we will get our leads from, from wherever and then we'll drive it forward. But, but it's being very focused on the goal is the important thing. The important thing is not get focused on the technique. Now, you know, in music, you know, you've got the sophistication of the instruments and the amplification and the lighting and, and, sure. and, and all those other things, but you can't forget that it's the music that matters, right? And it's how music moves people. And similarly, as scientists, you know, we have enormous technology. I mean, you're sitting in a building with some of the most sophisticated technology in the world for studying DNA and RNA and proteins and cells and, 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 and learning, learning about the fundamental biology of cancer. But you can never forget what you're there for. You know, the, the, the music of what we do is we're there to help people. And, and whatever we learn is going to be aiming toward, toward helping people, just like musicians, whatever they do, technically, the aim is to move people emotionally. And as long as you remember who you are, remember what, what, what you're on this earth for, and remember what your goals are, that's what keeps you moving in a great direction. But you know, you gotta have support for it. You can't do it for free. You can't do it. Everything, everything costs money. I mean, all right. the chemicals cost money, and the people that are working on it you know, have to be paid to take care of their families. And so you gotta have support. And so the Jeffrey Bean Foundation has been of enormous benefit to allow us to do what we do best, which is use science to get rid of cancer. Well. I'm glad to be able to lend a hand because, uh, like I said, uh, entertainment in the in the great scheme mm -hmm. of things, it's a it's an art, it's important. It helps people. But what you you do uh, is life and death. And well, I thank you. That, that's thank it. you for helping us. Thank and you. And I think it's great. Thank you.